The day you learn to notice sparkle of sullen silences, snapping the darkness of damp burrows, or stop taking notes of wild blizzards, racing along the signature shore, you are a New Yorker. The day you start hearing Gaga songs in the screeching subway cars, or stop saying, I don't know Spanish to Latino elders seeking directions, you are a New Yorker. The day you are understanding the thick jumble of subway announcements, or roadside pronouncements, you don't have to be a Rockefeller to be a generous guy. You are a New Yorker. The day you stop taking free Staten Island ferry to click a perfect shot of Statue of Liberty, or stop visiting Times Square at night and forget to find a way out of his labyrinth, or learn to walk the Brooklyn Bridge without a secret desire to dangle a padlock on one of its rafters, or stop seeing Walt Whitman sitting atop his edge looking for his beautiful boys and Bhagavan fairies entering the sheltered bay, you are a New Yorker. The day you stop feeding spy dogs at Ghent Central, recognize the homeless that hang out at Port Authority or Jackson Heights, the day you pass through the Shankar midnight of Sutman Boulevard or Jamaica subway station without holding your breath in terror, you are a New Yorker. The day you start loving Starbucks coffee, wafting along the white glassy Manhattan malls, or learn to chew the Brooklyn bagel, or lap up the steaming loneliness of chatty dog walkers around Central Park, or learn to make love and forget the face of your partner, you are a New Yorker. <laughs> that you stop guessing the origin of blonde teenager, reading the current issue of the New Yorker, stop looking at the bare shoulders of the Vietnamese girl sitting on the free Wi-Fi table near the entrance of so nice village cafe, opening and closing like a red lips on the first day of winter snow, that you pass by Magnolia Bakery, loaded from famed cupcakes and moon-sized cookies. That you stop visiting White Horse Tavern to pose against Dylan Thomas's drunken portrait. Or stop hearing John Lennon's voice climbing the fire escape letters of Hotel Chelsea. Or stop looking for a room where she gave the Lennon company blowjob. You are a New Yorker. That you stop walking at gay couples on L train, romancing like Bollywood couples, or fervently discussing pussy power animal rights or the ailing pets or parents, that you stop staring at his dark Jews of Williamsburg, their curls dangling out of their black velvet caps like Lord Shiva's sacred serpents, you are a New Yorker. The day you learn to laugh like a Latino bartender, smile like a Filipino waitress standing beside a stuffed rose pig like a queen, or stop looking at the cleavage of nudist poet at Central Park, or learn to check your seat in the subway for a state of shit a homeless might have left for you. You are a New Yorker. And finally, the girl, the day from Cleveland, Ohio, behind the counter of Greenwich Cafe, gives you her email or offers a free top-up on your coffee or lets you take her out. You are a New Yorker. Mm -hmm.